welcome. It is your friendly neighborhood badger here, and I'm back for day four of my Road to Headhunter challenge. Now, I'm actually starting to feel a little bit sick today, so I'm here with my lemon and honey drink. Uh, just about to head to bed after finishing 100 maps. I just thought today I would just show you the last five maps. Uh, so I'm at 95 right now and I've just paused my timer that I have here. I just thought I'd show you how I run these last five maps and maybe I can point out the kind of layouts that are the best, uh, some of that are a little less efficient and we'll see if we can get a good variety of all of that. So I'm just gonna go for it. I've got my five maps here all rolled and we just pop in and I'm just gonna hit this here. So as we head into the map, we have a look at the layout. It opens up to this layout. This layout is the best layout. This uh, monolith will spawn right at the start and you can just go straight around. As fast as can, I got a Marrakech there, which is quite nice. First time round, you don't need to pick up anything. You're just trying to clear everything and then you head into the middle, clear the rest. And I think I'm, oh no, I got them all. And then you go back around, start clearing it all. Now the one thing about alleyways is you do run into a few uh, little things around the place, uh, as you're noticing. And I'm just starting to pick everything up here. And we're heading down here. All right, and an alleyways map back for the return, which is quite nice. And you'll notice there's quite a few little things dropping here. This is not a bad run for this uh, map. Quite good income, especially with those Marrakech. And I'll head on out and uh, come back here. I'll pop my next map in uh, and keep that there. And then I uh, change that. So that was around a 56 second map into the next one here. And once again, I got the good layout. Hopefully I can show you what a not so good layout can look like, but we're just gonna go once more and see if we can get any good drops here. Now, as you notice, uh, what I'm looking for is pretty much just any sort of tier two to one currency drops. Uh, and then we're also picking up good divination cards. We're picking up incubators and everything like that so I can run them. Uh, and then we're opening all these chests uh, and getting interesting things. And we got Templar as well this time around, which is quite nice. I'm gonna start picking things up here and go back in, clear this, I'm heading back around. Quite nice. And uh, uniques are not something that I pick up if they're like that. They are on my filter, uh, just in case something pretty amazing drops and then we head back in. Great, and that was a 55 second map. I've been doing okay on my efficiency today. Uh, and we're heading back in. Now this is a tier two layout, you would call this one. Uh, could potentially be a tier three. You'll notice that as I get into this next section, great, the monolith is here. About 80% of the time it spawns here. If not, it will spawn a little bit later in the map. And you do have to go a bit further into the map. It takes about another 15 seconds to reach the monolith, which is not the greatest. Now, you don't want that happening all the time. And I think I, yes, I missed some down here. Great, so that should clear it all. And we will keep farming. Uh, hoping for those big drops. They're always nice to see. And uh, will I get to Kadiro? I do. What kind of deal does he have? Not a good deal. I'm not going to take it. All right. And I'm just going to pick up these coins. It's always annoying clicking lots of random things. There we are, continue on, and we are good. All right, a couple more maps to go. Let's see if we can get another one of the uh, bad layouts. That map was a little longer at one minute, two seconds. Uh, we're heading back in here and going for it. We got another good layout. I'd like to show you what the uh, tier three layout looks like. Um, all right, let's go back around. And another Marrakech, which is quite nice. We do like the Marrakech because they drop splinters which are worth more than a Chaos each. Quite nice. All right, so just about to clear this. I think I missed a couple of stragglers up here, but it's about to end anyway. Now, some people will be thinking, oh, you know, my Val Ice Nova is a little bit more efficient than this. Uh, and uh, Glaciers is as well. Look, again, it's not quite the point what I'm doing here. This isn't the most efficient build, but it's really fun to play. I enjoy this. Uh, more than I do enjoy something like a Val Ice Nova, uh, a little bit more hands-on and everything like that. That's pretty much it with that map. I'm just going to pop right back out now. Now onto this last map. Let's see if we can get something interesting. And that was a 57 second map. Heading back in. Uh, loading into the map. Okay, we do have a potential uh, tier two and maybe a tier three map here. 
Uh, pick up this map. Uh, it is tier 2, so we've got the monolith right here. Great, and we'll open it right up. Clear everything. Heading around. I have not hit any generals in these five maps. Honestly, the only general that I ever kill is the Marraketh general. The Templar general just takes a little bit too long to kill uh, for what it's worth with getting those splinters. Uh, Marraketh, though, very much worth. He drops anywhere from, like, 6 to 12 splinters, and that's a Oh, bit of lag here. Uh, this happens sometimes in the Australian realm, and I'm sure in your realm as well, you will know. So let's see if we can wait for this. Doesn't look like it, everyone. So I'm just going to sit here and say that's pretty much the it of this, uh, the end of this showcase, I should say. Um, if you want to do anything like this, it's quite easy to do. Uh, as, as I said, you just alk and go your maps, go for it just as fast as possible. Uh, and uh, clear everything. Um, I'm also, this time, I'm going to put the link to the filter blade that I'm using uh, uh, so you guys can have a little look at it. It's fairly simple. Um, it's just the uber strict never sync with a couple of changes. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And uh, I'll just now uh, hopefully be logging back on very soon. And uh, then you'll be able to see, uh, once I've gathered everything together, my big showcase of these 100 maps for today. Badger, out.